Anybody know what this snake species is? You guessed it, that's a black racer. Today, I wanna show everybody kinda of what the molt of a snake would look like. You can kinda of see on his eyes right there how they're glossed over, and he has a nice bluish iridescent kinda of look to him. Now this is the black racer, not the indigo. The indigo actually is completely iridescent. However, this is not the indigo, this is just the simple black racer. In fact, the indigo species is a protected species of snake here in Florida. But the black racer is a very important snake species as well. Um, they feed primarily on small insects when they're young and they kind of transition in color as well. They also eat rodents when they get larger. They've been known to eat other snakes and lizards. Um, these guys are also believed to be black in color to kind of confuse predators that may try to eat it from above and look more like a shadow than they do an actual snake. So that can throw off predators like hawks, eagles, or owls. Um, also, when a snake is in molt, they are very vulnerable because their eyesight is not very good either. Um, this guy was in molt and uh, I had to relocate him and to get him out of a dangerous situation so that way he could go through his phase of molt and be, you know, safer from any predators or just human interaction. But uh, thanks for watching this video. But if you liked it, hit that big thumbs up and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the great outdoors. And like I said, this is just the black racer and that tongue right there is him just sensing and detecting his environment. All right, you be good, buddy. Have a good one. And he's off. You can see how that would be confusing for a predator right there as he moves through the underbrush. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida wildlife guy.